Hey, Pastor Dale. Yeah. You ever looking for something and, and it's right there in front of you, but you didn't see it because maybe it wasn't just right where you were expecting to find it? Oh, yeah, that happens to me all the time. Like, like yesterday, I was looking in the refrigerator and I was looking on the middle shelf looking for a can of Dr. Peppers and I looked and I couldn't find it. And then I looked and I looked and finally there it was on the top shelf right in front of me. Oh, yeah? Yep, just I'm looking and I'm not seeing it. And then boom, there's the green can. Green can. No, uh, Dr. Pepper has doesn't have like a kind of a reddish, uh, brownish kind of color can. No, 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 not Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper's. It tastes like green pepper. Oh. Yeah, you should try it. It's really good. I'll take your word for it. But you know, that kind of reminds me of when Mary Magdalene was looking for Jesus. Was he in the refrigerator? Oh, no. No, she went looking for him in a tomb because he was dead. Well, okay, I guess that makes sense. Except he wasn't dead. He was alive. He didn't stay dead. He rose again. Oh, wow. Well, that makes sense that he wouldn't be in there anymore. Yeah, and so because she wasn't expecting him to be alive, she didn't even recognize him at first when she finally saw him. She thought he was a gardener or something. Ha <laughs> ha, boy, you know, that's, that's just Jesus, though. You know, every time you turn around, there he is. Well, yeah, I mean, he's everywhere. Since he's risen from the dead, we know that, that he's always with us, and, and he's going to take care of us, and, and I mean, we just know that, that he's with us. Boy, if he's with us, and even death can't stop him from taking care of us, then we don't have to be afraid of anything. Well, yeah, that's true. Boy, I forget that sometimes. Yeah. It'd be nice if we had some kind of reminder so that we could always remember that he's with us and that he's alive forever for us, that we get to live forever, live forever with him. Yeah, yeah. It's funny you should say that. Why? Because that same Mary Magdalene is who was the first person to see Jesus alive, is believed to have been the one that started what's called the Paschal Greeting. It's a special greeting that we use especially around Easter. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And it goes like this. One person says, He is risen. And then the other person responds, He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Oh, yeah. That's a good reminder. Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure you're ready? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. All right. He is risen! That was kind of loud. Well, it's really good news. I want everybody to know. Yeah, I think the neighbors know now. Well, that's great. I want them to know too. Okay, let's try it again. You ready this time? Yep. You said you were last time. Yeah, well. Okay, go ahead. He is risen! He is risen indeed! Alleluia! That was pretty good. Hey, do you want to try it at home? That's a good idea. All right, I'll say it, and then you say it with them, okay? All right. Ready? He is risen! He is risen indeed! Alleluia! All right, that was pretty great. You know, that would be a good reminder for, like, all the time. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. That's something that you can use when, when somebody in your house is upset or, uh, or they're sad or they're afraid or they're worried. You can just go up to them and say, and probably don't yell it in their face, though, but say, He is risen. And it's a reminder that no matter what it is that we're facing, that Jesus being alive and taking care of us and, and that He's given us eternal life so we can live forever with him, then that's a good reminder to remember whenever we're sad or, or upset. Yeah, it is. So you can try that at home. And in fact, you know, it doesn't have to just be Easter when you do that. That when someone's upset, just tell them he is risen. And, and if they say he is risen indeed back and they remember that, that's a good reminder to tell each other. And, and it's a good way to tell yourself that, too, to say, yep, 
He is risen indeed. And I can be happy. I can be comforted and, and be joyful even when I'm upset. Wow, that's great. Hey, let's pray. Okay, good idea. Can you pray with us? Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for rising from death. For rising from death. So I can live forever. So I can live forever with you. With you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, there's one problem, though, with this. What? Well, you know, like you could yell it in the house, but other people can't hear you. Well, maybe next door, you know? Well, yeah. Isn't there another way that, that we can tell people? Well, sure, there's lots of ways. Well, one of the really easy ways is if you click on that button right down there, the, the little curly arrow one, and you hit the, that's the share button, and then you can share it using email or social media or all kinds of different ways so that other people can hear this message too. What a great idea. That share button right down there? Yeah. Well, there you go. And you can post that and tell them, He is risen! He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Bye!